Barubia, one of the students on the North Olmsted Academic Challenge team. Laura passed away shortly after the taping of the program that you were about to see, and it is in accordance with her family's wishes that we show this program to you tonight. WEWS TV5 and the Illuminating Company would like to extend our deepest sympathies to the Kubarubia family and Laura's classmates at North Olmsted High School. If you would like to make a donation in her memory, you can do so by sending it to the Laura Joan Ednicott Kubarubia Music Scholarship Fund, care of this address. We'll repeat this information at the end of the program. For the 30th consecutive year, it's Academic Challenge. Brought to you by The Illuminating Company. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the host of our show, Lou Maglio. Good luck. Good luck. everyone and welcome to the 30th season of Academic Challenge. Competing on our program tonight are the students of Willoughby South High School, North Olmsted High School, and Garfield High School of Garrettsville. We begin the match with the lightning round. Teams, in this round, you'll compete in a visual free-for-all. The first team to ring in will be recognized. The right answer gets you 10 points, but will take away 10 points for an incorrect answer or failure to reply. Each team will start out tonight's match with 100 points. And now, the lightning round. Words beginning with F-O-R. This round is definitely for you, as it involves words that begin with the letters F-O-R. Please identify the following all of which have names beginning F. All right, North Homestead. All right, taking it right off the screen. In physics, this is represented, we have North Homestead. Force. Yes. The 38th U.S. President, North Homestead. Ford. Yes, Gerald Ford. Alibaba defeated this number. North Homestead. 40. 40 is correct. A gas, H-C-H-O, it's aqueous. North Homestead. Formic acid. No, formaldehyde, formaldehyde. The author of A Passage to India. Any attempts on this one? That is Forster, E.M. Forster. A type of tennis we have North Homestead. Forehand. Forehand it is. An early blooming shrub with bright yellow flowers. Forsythia. Forsythia is correct. Yes, that is Garfield. A caustic acid occurring naturally in ants. Garfield. Formic. Formic acid it is, yes. A type of cookie served at the end. We have North Homestead. Fortune cookie. Fortune cookie it is, and that'll do it for the lightning round. We'll have the electronic challenge round, and you'll meet our team members in just a moment. But first, a few words about our Super Bowl scoreboard. At the end of the season, the three teams with the highest scores will be back to compete in our academic challenge Super Bowl. Those three teams will each receive a new Apple computer for their schools. The computers are provided by Holcomb's Educational Materials Stores. Tests show very few of us know our geography. Educational Insight. program will also receive a special championship trophy. So far, the highest team totals have been South Range, St. Ignatius, and Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy. We'll be back in just a moment right after you watch this from the Illuminating Company. Questions, let's have a look at the schools that are competing on our program tonight. Willoughby South High School serves just over 1,000 students in Western Lake County. Tony Massey, a mathematics instructor, is in his seventh year as Academic Challenge Advisor. He tells us the school boasts academic decathlon state champions in 1990 and 92, and that the football and softball teams, the Rebels, were also conference champs. North Olmsted High School, founded in 1930, was recently recognized as a national school of excellence by the Department of Education. Jan Denman, an English instructor, is in his second season as advisor to the team. The school offers a diverse program, including 152 courses, AP offerings, 18 of those, 20 varsity sports, and a myriad of co-curricular activities. Senior Tim Fitzpatrick shot the video made available to us Today, the 400 students at Garfield High School hail from Garrettsville, Nelson, and Freedom Townships in Portage County. English and French teacher Michelle Chenchik, back for her fourth season as team advisor, says Garfield has a strong United Nations club and an impressive band that is always placed in competition. Some Garfield students take credit at nearby Hiram College, and the school is proud of its advanced placement biology program. This video provided by Caitlin Walker. 
And now it is time for our first electronic challenge round. In this round, each team will have six questions. Each question is worth 10 points. Plus, we have a bonus question on the board tonight. Any team that lands on that bonus square gets one additional question. A correct answer there earns 20 points. There are no penalties anywhere in this round. Okay, let us meet these students from team number one, which is Willoughby South. Rob, you are the captain. Tell us about yourself. I'm Rob Simperman, a junior. I'm on the... National Honor Society, the student council, and the tennis team. In my spare time, I enjoy reading and weightlifting. All right, very good. How about Jason? I'm Jason Mackman, a senior at South High School. I plan on attending Northwestern University after graduating. I'm a member of the student council and drama club, and as well as a member of the soccer team and tennis team. All right, and Tim Chang? I'm Tim Chang, the junior, and I like to play the violin and read. I enjoy calligraphy as a hobby. I'm a member of the tennis team and play for an orchestra. Very good. Rob Simperman, you are the captain. The lights are spinning, so push down that yellow button for us, and we'll see which category you get. That means, my friend, you get a bonus question, and this is it. A stern warning about excess TV and movie violence was delivered to the U TV industry by what current attorney general? Janet Reno. Janet Reno is correct, and you get that bonus question right. Okay, Rob. Lights are in motion again, so we'll try it again. Go ahead. And this time you land on the category of time and place. In Washington, D.C., on September 17, 1947, James Forrestal was sworn in as first secretary of what cabinet department that has its headquarters in the Pentagon? Is it? Need an answer here. Will it be South? Secretary of War? No, we're looking at Secretary of Defense, the modern Secretary of Defense. Each May, Canada has a public holiday named for what 19th century British monarch who was also Empress of India? Need an answer. Queen Elizabeth? No, Victoria is what we're looking for there. According to legend, it was on April 20th, 735 B.C. that Rome was founded by Romulus and what twin brother of his? Remus. Right. Police in London remember the date, August 31st, 1888, is marking the first murder committed by what serial killer whose identity still debated over a century later? Jack the Ripper. Correct. Scholars believe that April 23rd, 1564, was the date that Shakespeare was born in what small town located on the River Avon? Stratford. That is correct, yes. At a Washington, D.C. railway station on July 2nd, 1881, an assassin named Charles Guiteau shot and fatally wounded what 20th president of the United States? Garfield. That was James Garfield and Willoughby South. You have 160 points. Now, North Homestead, Dan Miller, you are the captain. Tell us about yourself. <clears throat> well, I'm Dan Miller, a senior and member of the Keek Club, Science Club, German Club, and the Marching Band. My interests include sports and computers. All right, how about Jay Bolin? I'm Jay Bolin, I'm a senior. Um, I plan to study engineering in college. I enjoy sports and computers, and I'm a member of National Honor Society and the Marching Band. Laura, I am not going to try your last name, so I'll leave it up to you. Go ahead. I'm Laura Kuberbia, and I'm a freshman. And I'm a member of the marching band and the yearbook staff, and I compose and play piano. All right, very good. Dan Miller, as the captain, you know what you need to do is push down that yellow button. And you have landed on famous people. Denied burial in a churchyard because he was accused of atheism was what Revolutionary War pamphleteer who'd written Common Sense? Thomas Paine. Right. Herbert Bayard Swope was the first journalist to receive what reporting prize named for a newspaper publisher? Pulitzer Prize? Yes. Landsberg Prison in Germany was the place where in 1925 Adolf Hitler predicted his rise to power in what book about his political and social ideas? Mein Kampf. That's correct. Aristotle's priorities were revealed in his statement, Plato is dear to me, but dearer still is what ideal that witnesses in court are sworn to tell? Truth? Yes, sworn to tell the truth. Robert Bunsen, the chemist who gave his name to the Bunsen burner, nearly killed himself by experimenting with what poisonous element which has the atomic number 33 and the symbol AS. Arsenic? Yes. Though best known as a printer, diplomat, and inventor, what man also left his stamp on early American history as our first postmaster general? 
Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin is correct in North Olmsted. You have 210 points. <laughs> now Garfield High School, Stacy Oliver, you are the captain. Tell us all about Stacy. I'm Stacy Oliver, a senior, a cheerleader, a member of the softball team, National Honor Society, track and cross country teams. I like to ride horses, dance and travel. I plan to major in international studies and political science in college. A very busy person. How about Marin Byrne? I'm Marin Byrne, a junior. I'm a member of band at Model United Nations and the cross country team. My interests include piano, trumpet, and reading. Okay, and Heidi Brown? I'm Heidi Brown. I'm a junior. I'm a member of the quizable team, the UN Club, and I enjoy horseback riding and 4-H. Okay, Stacy, please do push down that yellow button for us. And you have landed on bonus as well, so here is your bonus question. Although Latrobe, Pennsylvania is the hometown of golfer Arnold Palmer, it's also the site of a training camp for what NFL football team based in western Pennsylvania? The Steelers? The Steelers it is. You weren't sure, but you got it right. <laughs> Now the lights are in motion again. Stacy, push down that button for us one more time. This time you land on the category of mathematics. The first two-digit prime number is what integer equaling the square root of 121? 11. 11 it is, Marin. Joe earned $7.50 an hour. How much will he earn before taxes if he works 20 hours? Need an answer here, $150. Garfield. $150? $150 is correct, yes. On a map, one half inch represents 10 miles. Two cities are five inches apart on the map. How far apart are they in reality? 50 miles? No, 100 miles. If two triangles are similar and their sides are in the ratio of 2 to 5, what is the ratio of their areas? Can you any attempt, Garfield? Pass. All right, the answer is 4 to 25. If 900 sheets of paper make a pile three inches high, how many sheets are there in a pile one foot high? 2,800? No, 3,600. And finally, if a 17-foot ladder leans against a building and its base is eight feet from the foot of the building, how high up the wall does the ladder reach? Any attempt here? 15 foot. 15 foot is correct, and Garfield, you've got 170 points. <laughs> and we'll be back with a picture-perfect round right after this message from the Illuminating Company. Perfect round. I will recap the scores for you right now with 160 points. Will it be South with 170 points? Garfield, leader right now with 210 points. North Olmsted, now the picture-perfect round. Teams in this round, correct answers are worth 10 points, but now we'll take away 10 points for incorrect answers or failure to reply, okay? Let us take a look now at our first picture. Don't be confused by its yellow color. This huge uncut gem is actually what mineral that ranks the hardest on the low scale. North Olmsted. Diamond? Yes, the diamond. This has been called the most famous headline in the history of journalism. Emile Zola wrote this 1898 article in defense of what French army captain falsely accused of treason. Any attempts here? Correct answer is Alfred Dreyfus. 1910, Thomas Hart Benton painted this landscape entitling it Country Soleil. Soleil being the French word for what heavenly body? Will it be south? Sun. Sun it is, yes. The Golden Gate Bridge celebrated its 50th birthday in 1987 with an 82,000 pound cake and a race involving what D initialed airships. Any attempts here? We have Willoughby South. Destroyer? No, looking for dirigibles, dirigibles. This historic building is the Dohani Street Synagogue built in 1854 in what capital city of Hungary? We have North Olmsted. Budapest? Budapest it is, yes. When this coin was originally minted in 1877, it was worth how much money? The equivalent of a modern bill with a picture of U.S. grants. We have Willoughby South. 50? 50 dollars, yes. In this type of braided leather bag, Bodoins from Saudi Arabia carry the beans that make what popular caffeinated we have uh, North Homestead. Coffee? 
coffee is correct. Yes, an old legend that some snakes wore eyeglasses might have been inspired by the peculiar markings on what type of hooded Indian snake will it be south? Cobra. Cobra is right. This building in New York was a site where the associate justices of the Supreme Court first met with what first chief justice we have. Will it be south? John Jay. John Jay it is, yes. This 14th century crown is known as the crown of what saint who shares his name with the king who looked out on the feast of Stephen in a familiar we have North Homestead. Once a sloss. Yes, that is correct. And that'll do it for the Picture Perfect Round. And we'll be back with our second electronic challenge round in just a moment, right after this message. Students will receive a photograph of their team as they appear on the show and an academic challenge t-shirt. In addition, the winner of this program will receive a plaque commemorating their victory. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. Now, teams, it is time for our second electronic challenge round. In this round, each question is worth 20 points, and there are six questions. Any team answering all six questions correctly will gain 25 bonus points. Okay, the lights are in motion for you again. Will it be South Rob? Push that yellow button for us, and you land on geography. In 1990, a Chinese researcher named Quinn Dare became the first man from China to completely traverse what continent that has lots of ice and lots of penguins? Antarctica. Yes. Candidates for mayor may not have their political parties listed on the ballots used in elections in what largest Utah city? Salt Lake City. Correct. Geologically speaking, the Rocky Mountains are much younger than what major eastern mountain range that names a hiking trail extending from Maine to Georgia. Appalachians. Yes. In the month of September, there's an average of 23 days of rain in what Spanish-speaking metropolis that is the most populous capital city in the Western Hemisphere. Mexico City. Go ahead. Mexico City. Mexico City it is. The mottos of many states are long and involved, but one short word, Eureka, forms the motto of what golden Western state with a very long coastline? California. That's right. Container of blood is one translation for the name of what ancient Middle Eastern city that is now the capital of Syria? Damascus. Yeah, Damascus. Damascus is correct. Bonus points for you, Willoughby South. You got every question right. Now, now North Homestead, Dan Miller, the captain. Dan, whenever you're ready, push that button for us. And you have landed on says... Who? He was one of the giants in the quest for human rights at President Clinton mourning the death of what retired Supreme Court Justice, the first African American on the court. Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall is right. It's the nearest thing to nothing that anything can be and still be something, was a description once given to what type of celestial phenomenon such as Kohutek and Halley's. Comet. Yes. Show me a hero and I will write you a tragedy, said what American author who drew a few tears with his book, The Great Gatsby. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Correct. According to sports writer Red Smith, all a writer has to do in order to work is sit down at a typewriter and open what type of blood vessel that transport blood transports blood toward the heart. Vein. Vein is correct. Only shallow people do not judge by appearances was the insightful comment of what British author who demonstrated his depth with the importance of being earnest. Any attempts here, North Homestead? Jail Keek. No, the answer there is Oscar Wilde. I will exercise my art solely for the good of my patients, say good doctors taking what ancient oath named for the father of medicine. Hippocratic oath. Hippocratic oath is correct. In North Homestead, you have 350 points. Now, Garfield. Stacy, go right ahead and push down that yellow button. And you land on what is wrong here. Now, in this fix-it category, I want you to change just one word other than the verb in each of the following incorrect statements to make the statement correct, all right? In 1793, Eli Whitney invented the cotton candy. Change candy to gin. Okay, exactly right. Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin. The UN Security Council has three permanent member nations. Uh, change three to five. Three to five is correct. The UN Security Council has five permanent member nations. Elias Howe was the inventor of the washing machine. Any attempt here? 
Pass. All right, he invented the sewing machine. Dry ice is composed of frozen sulfur dioxide. Change sulfur dioxide to carbon dioxide. You need to change sulfur to carbon, that is correct. In the 17th century, William Harvey studied air circulation. Any attempt here? We need to change... Blood. Excuse me? Change air to blood. That is exactly right. In the 17th century, William Harvey studied blood circulation. And finally, the Brooklyn Dodger is a character in Oliver Twist. The change Brooklyn to artful. That is correct. And Garfield, you have 270 points. <laughs> we'll be back with our final grab bag round right after you watch this. For each correct answer, Mr. Fail to answer, and 20 points are deducted. Also, teams will have some visual questions for you. Okay, here we go with the grab bag. The Ojibwe Indians discovered that nausea could be treated with what berries now commonly used in a jellied sauce served at Thanksgiving? We have North Cran Homestead. Cranberries. Yes. The movie Young Guns was a very fictionalized account of the early career of what frontier outlaw? Will it be South? Billy, Billy the, the kid. kid. Billy the Kid is correct. Although it isn't alive, 18 months is the average lifespan for what sort of weather protection that was associated with both Mary Poppins and Neville Chamberlain, North Homestead? Umbrella. Yes. Check your monitors right now, teams. In this painting of the 1846 Battle of Subraun, British forces are attacking Sikh defenders in what Asian country where the Sikhs today often battle, we have North Homestead. India? India is correct, yes. In the 18th century, a Russian scientist named Lomonosov reported that a temperature of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit would freeze what metallic element that's a liquid at, we have Willoughby Sound. Mercury? Mercury it is, yes. It would be a real mission impossible to follow the command and the title of Anne Morrow Lindbergh's book and bring her what legendary one-horned animal. North Homestead. Unicorn? Unicorn it is, yes. And on his voyage of 1492, Christopher Columbus is thought to have taken along a crew of how many? A number 30 times the number of ships that embarked. We have North Homestead. 90. 90 is correct, yes. Check your monitors again, teams. This 1888 lithograph depicts Union artillerymen in action in April 1862 at what major Tennessee battle that changed? We have Willoughby South. Chancellor, Chancellorsville? No, we're looking at Shiloh, the correct answer there. In 1930, an astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh proved the existence. We have Willoughby Sound. Uranus? No, we're looking for Pluto. And that concludes tonight's match. <laughs> now let's take a look at the final scores. In third place tonight, we have with 270 points, Garfield. In second place with 335 points, Willoughby South. Champion tonight with 450 points, the Eagles of North Olmsted. Congratulations. <laughs> now... Now let's take a look at our Super Bowl scoreboard and see if tonight's winner has a big enough score to make it on the ladder. Did they make it with 450 points? Yes, indeed, they did make it. Now be sure to catch Academic Challenge next week when teams from Kent Roosevelt, Columbia, and Lakewood will be competing. That's our program tonight. We thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time for the next edition of Academic Challenge. Good night, everybody. Academic Challenge has been brought to you by The Illuminating Company.